Hello guys, welcome to the Two Dogs Podcast. I'm Dr. Ellie here. And I'm Dr. Inky. And welcome to the podcast whereby two medical doctors speak about everything purely Every, non-medical. <laughs> almost mostly non-medical. 98% right? non-medical. Mostly non-medical. And actually, this is actually from our, our point of view. Um, really, almost no scientific um, um, background. And most of the stuff that we talk about, we we just skim over it. Like. We don't really go Pretty into much. details. But I, um, I, I would say most of it, it will be our life lessons. Yes, uh, that's right. Um, uh, be, be, between both of us, we've got about 82 years of experience. <laughs> <laughs> so with 82, yes, exper- oh, 82 years of experience, we are still quite young, all right? Uh, we get to share back with you our life perspective on the topics that we're talking about, yes. which ranges from all... Uh, all walks of all, life, all like walks everything. Of life. Any kind of any, issues. Any, right? Anything they've talked about. Which minimize our need to talk about medical, <laughs> yes. right? So, um, you guys, um, if you're watching the channel, we would really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button, you know, and um, hit on that that bell button so that you will get notified each time we come up with a new topic. Trust us that it's been a while since we've been doing this, and yeah. we have now fan- finally decided that we're gonna just take up fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah, of I just time. shot the ones. <laughs> <laughs> Too <laughs> long, people just just straight just, to the point. Just, straight to the yeah, point. We're gonna get punchy. Point. So again, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Post some of the comments down there so that we know you're there and we can engage back with you. Right, so this week, what are we talking about? Right, we're talking about 80-20 rule. 80-20. Yeah. So actually, to be honest, right, I have really no idea what the 80-20 rule is. You are probably 80% lying to me about 20% <laughs> of what you don't know. All right, so anyway, 80-20 is also known as uh, Pareto's Law. Okay, who's um, he? <laughs> he's, he's an Italian sociologist. Okay. Sociologist and e- uh, economist. And what he noticed when he started doing all these statistics is that he found this, when we see bell curve, yes, bell curve, there's the extremes of both ends. Then he realized, right, a lot of things, right, falls into both sides. So, so for example, it's like saying um, 80% of, of the national rich, rich people are from 20% of the population only. Ah, so mm. basically it means that, that, that if you want to look at the wealthy people, there's only a small handful of them, which is small the twenty percent of them, 20%, right? Who contribute, and con- who control actually, control who co- control, and contribute. yeah, control and contribute eighty mm. percent of the of, of of the economy. Economy. Ah, okay, yeah, right. And I and from there he started to see other forms of statistics, and truth be told. Yeah, it might range eighty two percent, eighty one percent, seventy eight percent, but. By and large, eighty percent of the statistics he found were correct. Yes, mm. uh, and only twenty percent will, will be will be variants. So, this becomes a very interesting um, so called law that has been used in a lot of statistics. Yes, it's been and, and it's been used not only in economics; it's, it's actually being used throughout most of the industries. Correct. Yeah. So what 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 they've discovered is in occupational health. Hmm. All right, they discovered that. 20% of the flaws okay. in the occupational or, 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 or 20% of, um, of the environment, mm. all right, the dangerous environment contributes to 80% of the of injuries. The injuries and, yeah. all right? So 20% of the hazards contribute to 80% of the injuries. Mm. So as long as if, if you can fix, so what it means that you don't have to fix the entire thing, you know. You don't have yeah. to, to, to Not revamp all the problems entire, yes. need to be fixed. So they, they actually fix the major stuff. Yep. Then that actually minimizes uh, injuries, and that, that's just occupational hazard. Itself. Correct, correct. In fact, um, this law has been used in so many other areas. But one of my favorite um, way of using it is called bushitology. 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 Okay, well, <laughs> so whenever right you up for an exam, right, and this kind of exam or whatever questions where people want to ask you, right, and you have no freaking uh, idea about the answer. Okay. You use the eighty twenty law. And how do you do it? Huh? So let's say someone asks you, so what are the chances of this happening? You go, I would say 80% of it is due to this 20% of the factors. <laughs> Bushitology. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. All right. So another thing that okay, I've actually done the eighty twenty in the past. Hmm. All, right. all right. So what, do you what do? so what we did was hmm. uh, we actually examined our customer base. Okay. All right. right. We all actually right. examined our customer base, and truth be told, right, twenty percent of our customers actually contributed to eighty over percent of our total revenue. Huh. There you so go. what? So what we did was go. we isolated this twenty percent of the customers. Mm-hmm. We know them by heart. Mm-hmm. All right. So these and are then, the VVIPs. So these are the VVIPs. Hmm. Right. So these are the VVIPs. We treat them better. You know, better customer care and all just to retain them because 
you do not need to make 100% of your customers happy. That you is just true. Need to make this 20%. 20%. So, which is very easy, you know. Mm. It means out of 10 people, you just need, need to make two happy. Correct. And Correct. then you Correct. retain Correct. 80% Correct. of your revenue. That's it. Actually, truth be told, in most businesses, if you hit 15 to 20 percent customer retention, yes, you're already really good. Yes, yes. Exactly. If you can hit 30 percent, you're an amazing yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. uh, center already, or your amazing business model. So, b based on that 15 to 20 percent recurrent people who actually just come back to you even without you asking, yes, but you need to identify who are they. Yeah, and and I think this is where the 80 20 in your case, yeah. as as you've highlighted, really makes that that huge difference. Yes. Well, um, even from my side, same thing. When we examined back on our um, uh, total amount of, of hair patients, we did fine. Eighty percent of of the cases, right, are uh, in in patients who can really. Uh, sorry, eighty percent of our cases fall into twenty percent of of category of people who can afford certain amount, which makes up for most of our economy also of of our revenue. So again, but th the difference is. Uh, we don't really get recurrent because yeah, it's a one-time one thing. One-time yeah. one one time time thing. thing. One time. If it's recurrent, but, yeah. <laughs> but, but we need to retain extra care for, for, for these people because the referrals are really good. Yes, yes, the referrals yes. are really good. Yes, yes, yes. So um, what are the cases of 8020 that, that you've seen, heard, or might, might postulate? All right, so another one is weight loss. All right, hmm. The one that I've read about right, is actually weight loss. You can lose 80% of your weight just by cutting off 20% of your snacks. <gasps> and you have to identify which of the 20% of your snacks is actually super the high, high calorie. calorie ones. Yeah. So as long as you can huh. remove, you don't have to remove all Everything. the high calorie, calorie mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. right? You just you can retain 80% of them, mm -hmm. but remove the top 20%, the highest calorie food. And you'd be surprised uh, a lot a lot of times when, 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 when we snack and I snack, mm. pre pretty often actually mm. and you you think that certain snacks are actually healthy for you but when you actually look back at the calorie count it's actually super high you know Correct. even though because a lot of times now they, they pre-package it to look, make it look like it's, it's healthy it's healthier healthy, you know yeah. they, they they give you like you know sports people on top mm. and then, uh, mm. they, they, they talk about no trans fat no but actually the calories are high yep. so as long as you can cut off 20 percent of your of your high calorie food you mm -hmm. can you can you, you can actually lose a lot of weight from them yeah so your chances of a successful yeah, weight higher. reduction is 80, 80 percent higher as yeah. Good as 80% higher, uh, but bear in mind again, it's weight reduction. Yes. We didn't say you're going to hit your ideal weight yeah. yet, then you still have to go into your whole study. Yeah. But that is absolutely right because uh, I, I used to snack on um, uh, granola bars. Oh, yeah, oh. people assume they're healthy, yeah, because it's marketed as being healthy, it's marketed as being healthy, it's marketed as energy bars, you correct. know, you correct, and then and then it's always marketed, hey, you know, I've, I've after an, uh, after a long exercise, you know you have this is what you deserve. Yes. Correct. This is what you deserve. You should put back your energy. <laughs> yes. But they, you know it's very it's very misleading because energy equals calories. Yes, exactly. It's energy equals calories. So at the end of the day, um, for again we're digressing a little bit, but it doesn't matter. But when you are looking into your weight loss, um, I would say chart and then just bear in mind as what Doctor Inky said, you just need to cut off twenty percent of of food category which will then give you the 80% success. Most of us don't do that. Yes. Most of us don't do that. Um, what would be the strategy? I would say um, calorie counting. I No, la, calorie counting is very, very tedious. I would say I would say 80% of your time, right? Mm. You just need to focus on eating healthier. That's it. You know, mm. just just cut off all the fried stuff, eat healthier, eat, you know, salad and, and, and your and your grill and your grilled chicken and stuff like that. And then of course, you know, 20% of time, you know, like once a one, once a week, you can have a cheat day. Mm. Mm. And you can see, right, how we use this 80-20 very loosely. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Super loosely. It's called bullshit <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of your most favorite law that you're going to use. In fact, please Google this and yeah. memorize it. And it's so easy. P A R E T O, Pareto. Yeah. When you quote Pareto's law, you uh, eighty percent of people will find you very educated. Yeah, I think only twenty percent <laughs> of people know your bullshit thing. That is true. That but is it's true. true. It's true because when you can quote eighty twenty, people don't know what is it. When you say, "Oh, it's a Pareto's law," yeah, or like, "Oh, okay, what law?" They only know um, what is that? Um, uh, Newton's law. Yeah, that's it. Uh, or, or Murphy's law. But when you quote Pareto's law, it automatically you appear a bit more educated. Again, I'm not asking you to bullshit, but if you need to get out of a tight spot, this is probably what mm. I'll do. Now there are the variants of the eighty twenty law. Hmm. You know, sometimes people call it the ninety ten law, mm -hmm. the seventy thirty law. But yes. end of the day, right, it's still the same, right? Yeah. But the the basis of it is still is still the eighty twenty law. 
Right. right, and then and then of course what what they found is of course in certain places in certain places or certain industries, it's not exactly twenty percent. Mm. Uh, so that's why they come up with that ninety ten. No, but mostly it's. But I was like eighty percent of the time. This eighty twenty will work yeah. for you. Yes, eighty percent of the time it works for you. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, when it comes to 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 even this kind of statistics, I would say if you are doing any kind of uh, marketing studies or if you are running your business, try it out. Try it out. It is a very high percentage. You will find that this 80-20 yeah. would really work for you once, twice, and at the end of it, you will actually know this is something that you want to hold on to because yes. it's, it's A, conversation. B, um, when people speak, right, generally, you don't want to have this break and you want to have everything right at the tip of your fingers and this really, really works very well for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, ha have you heard of uh, Freakonomics? A what? Freakonomics? Freakonomics. 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 No. What Freakonomics. is that? So anyway, Fre Freakonomics is, is, is it was a book and I think they made into a, maybe a, movie. a movie or something like that. Okay. So so basically um, in the US, there's also one guy who, a couple of guys like, who, who got re really free and then they start studying all these kind of uh, weird um, statistics. All right. Weird statistics. Now it's got nothing to do with this 80-20, but it's just a, di uh, a, a, a progression out of this 80-20. Because of this kind of 80-20, he based most of his studies right, because of this 80-20, and then he started to study th weird things, such right. as like um, the likelihood of certain names ending up in certain kind of low-level profession. Okay. Okay. Um, one of it will be like, what is the likelihood of this name ending up being an escort? Okay. All right. Okay. I'm not going to use those names because, you know, in case your, <laughs> your kids yeah, end up yeah, in one of those names, one of right? Yeah. But anyway, it's interesting because, uh, but again, it's very geographical because mm -hmm. the names that they have in the US may not reflect the names that we use here. Yeah. So, but it's just very interesting to know when you start to do all these 80 20 studies, you will see patterns. Yeah. And I believe in life, a lot of things ends up as patterns. Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually. Actually, majority of the stuff in life is mm. actually you end up as patterns. Um, and the 80-20 law, right, what, what you see in most of, let's say, if you're doing analytics or you're analyzing anything, mm. like, whether it's your test results, whether it's your marketing, your sales, your whatever numbers, you actually see the bell distribution graph. Yes, right? the bell curve. Yeah, everything falls into the bell curve. All right. And then you realize that most of the people fall into the center, center. part, which is the 80% part. Correct. Right. 80%. And then you have the 10% on the low side, 10% yeah, on yeah. the high side. Yeah. But most people fall into this average of 80%. Yes. So technically, right, when you say someone is average, they are actually a very wide gap yeah. between between 20 to, to, to 90, actually. Yes, correct. I know, from 10, 11. 11, 11. 11, 11 to, 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 to 90. 90, yes. Mm, so, so if you are saying someone is in extreme, you are win, within the last 10% or the first 10%. Yeah. Yeah. So coming back, we hope that you find this priority law, par Pareto's law Pareto's as law. something that is um, useful, especially when it comes to having to get yourself out of a tight spot, A, or B, using it as a principle for your analysis. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes certain things, just there's nothing to compare with. Yes. You know, or, or you don't have a basis to compare with. Not everyone's going to tell you, like, Strangers are gonna, not going to tell me their source of revenue, where mm. it comes from and all this. So if you analyze and you say, ah, okay, it more or less falls within this 15 to 25, so it's about 80, 80 to 80, 20 by average, you know you're on the right track of getting something done. That is the generally good principle. Okay. All right. So with that, we hope you found uh, uh, this session interesting. Very, For me, it's very interesting because he said he didn't know anything about I it, but he can talk so much about no, it. Yeah, know? I actually didn't really know the law itself. I've heard of it, but I really don't know the, 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 the intric intricate details of it. Ah, yeah, a little bit only. Yeah, a little bit yeah. and there. Uh, besides, you don't, you don't even know whether the 80% was real or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll be back again next week on another session of The Two Dogs. Again, if you guys could just hit that subscribe button, like, or even share our posts, we'll really appreciate that. And we'll see you again next week. And then with me, um, I'm Dr. Ali and, and I'm Dr. Inky and see you next week. See you next week.